guys, welcome back to the channel. Another defeat. Arsenal 4, West Brom 0. I mean, where do you even start with this one, guys? But before the video starts, as always, don't forget to go down below. The link in the description. There's uh, links to our social media pages. I am probably more active on Twitter and stuff like that <clears throat> than I am on Instagram, but follow us we're on all platforms and stuff like that also go down below subscribe to Fred freddy's youtube channel he does all magic and stuff on there but my god we need some magic we need something ain't it funny how we sat slav and bilic and i was speaking to my dad earlier about this and my dad actually pointed it out we've actually sacked slav and bilic and in three games big sam's near enough conceded the same amount of goals what Slavin Bilic did all season in 13 games and it's just an absolute joke now. I'm fucking, I'm fuming, I'm, I'm fed up of these players, I'm fed up of the owner, I'm fed up of the club, I'm, I just need a break from it and thank God we haven't got to watch Premier League football up until the 16th. Even then though it's against the scrum so we need a... We, I don't know what Sam Allardyce is going to do, I don't know what the owners are going to do but apparently... The owners were there today and it's just an absolute, another joke of a, of a performance. We go and lose 5-0 to Leeds and then we go and get battered by Arsenal 4-0. It's just not good enough. Spineless, just, they're just spineless players. This is probably the worst, the worst Albion team I've ever seen in the Premier League and we've had some bad teams over the years. The only player who can hold the heads up high tonight as Sam Johnston and even then obviously you conceded four but you can't help it with the defence in front here you know about uh, Lacazette getting on the score sheet Saka getting on the score sheet it was just an absolute shambles it really really is just a mess at the club at the minute and we all talk about we need a lot of new players we need five or six new players and I'm not sure who is actually in the right mind is going to want to come to West Bromwich Albion Football Club we're an absolute joke we're an embarrassment it wouldn't surprise me if Conor Gallagher didn't say to Chelsea get me the fuck out of here because he's like a shit and they are that this is like I said, probably the worst I've ever seen an Albion team in the Premier League. It's so spineless, so gutless. It's just embarrassing to watch. Every single game, we're getting absolutely hammered, 4-5-0. And it's a joke. You know, we bring in Big Sam, who's meant to be good at organising teams. And we're worse than we was under Slavin Bilic. And it, it just brings it back to that point. What was the point in sacking Slavin Bilic and bringing in Big Sam? What was the need? You know, it was an irrational decision by the board. The owner was there tonight, apparently, probably telling Big Sam that he has no money to spend because we all know what a jumped up little twat he is. You know what I mean? He's just, he's not going to give us no money. He's probably going to give us like a million pounds to spend and it's an absolute disgrace. It's a joke. Our owner never turns up to the matches. He, apparently he was there tonight. I'm not 100% sure how true that is. But he's probably going to be discussing the January window with Big Sam. And to be honest, I don't think Big Sam would have come in unless he was promised some players. But that guy was just absolutely pathetic. Every single player tonight needs to hang their head in shame. For the past few weeks and everything... Why on earth are these players getting paid twenty, thirty thousand pound a week when they can't be arsed like that? It's an absolute fucking joke. If I make one mistake at work, even one, I'm sacked. I'm out the door. So why are these players continuously playing? Remain Sawyer's. What does it? Does he win his fucking? Does he win his bastard place in a cereal box? And and guys, I don't mean to swear, but I'm just so angry. How does he actually get picked? Because he's fucking dreadful. He can't pass the ball. In the first five minutes, we played really well. The, some of the football we were playing, we made one chance through Pereira. Charlie Austin had a chance, but it was a disgrace tonight, an absolute disgrace. I don't care if we're playing Arsenal. I don't care if we're playing Man City. We're getting battered every single game. But that's my rant over, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.